Hey guys, how's it going? Frank Slauson here, and welcome to another daily video here, the Frank Slauson Daily Vlogs. I'm enjoying a, a Diet Coke with lime. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this before or have had it before. It's 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 okay. It's pretty much Diet Coke with a hint of lime. And that's pretty much the surprise right there. Uh, well, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I got some more big news about uh, uh, what's uh, going to be happening next Friday, a week from today, in my daily vlogs. Uh, we're going to be, actually next weekend, it's actually going to be a pretty big weekend uh, uh, for, for myself and my family because when it gets around August, and it's, uh, you know, almost, the summer's almost over and whatnot, for the last, for the last five years or so, uh, I guess it would be five years this year, uh, they have a lot of, around the area, they have a lot of different music festivals and stuff going on and concerts and, and stuff with random people. Uh, not just no neighbors, but actually uh, big stars. And this year, for our next Friday, uh, the, the concert we're going to go see is uh, John Anderson. And I've always loved John Anderson. If you know who John Anderson is, you, then you know what, who I'm talking about. He's a famous country musician that, to me, deserves... I mean, he's he, he's a big star. I mean, I, I grew up liking John Anderson because of my dad, and and uh, I've never met him. Never, you know, always just loved his music. And now finally, next Friday, in less in about one week from today, I'll get to go and sh see him live uh, for the first time ever, and probably get an autograph. And I'm gonna bring the camera with, so who knows? Maybe I'll get him to say a few words or whatever. And then next Saturday. Uh, is the annual Blues Fest, and you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who are real Frankie Slauson Show fans, you know what I'm talking about when I talk about the Blues Fest. Uh, last year, uh, we went, and I was working at, of course, I was working at uh, Hugo's then, and uh, I went with a couple buddies of mine last year to uh, the Blues Fest at the casino where I used to work. Yes, they still promote, uh, they still do uh, annual Blues Festivals. They call it the Last Ride Blues Fest because it's pretty much the last big thing of summer around here. Uh, anyway, uh, last year we, we got to see, as a he main headliner, we got to see Los Lonely Boys. Well, now uh, we get to go see John Mayall. And John Mayall is uh, the guy who was responsible for uh, Eric Clapton, uh, as well as a few other artists as well. So this is kind of a big big deal. You know, the day we, I was surprised to actually we were able to find somebody like him to uh, perform. But it should be a lot of fun. It should be a big crowd, just like it was last year. They got a nice tent, so it doesn't matter, rain or shine. Normally, the weather's been pretty good, you know, pretty much every year that the Blues Fest has came. And uh, I also uh, uh, am going to be getting an interview. I, I, t I called back the guy who uh, runs uh, the American Inn, and I uh, he wants me to come in for an interview on Monday, this coming Monday. So hopefully... Hopefully it'll be good news because the last time I had an, an interview, it went okay, but you know they, they hired me, but then they decided not to hire me, you know, and and you know what I'm talking about the radio station way back, you know, for those of you who follow me on a daily basis or whatever pop up video, you know who I'm talking about the radio station that I applied at, and it still pisses me off about that because it's, you know they should go by what you know. Uh, you know, it's a certain business or whatever. I mean, they're worried that I was going to talk bad about Hugo's and stuff like that. I mean, I'll tell you the real truth. I mean, that's pretty much what happened. They were they were afraid that uh, that it was going to be bad business if they hired me because Hugo sponsors that radio station and they pay them money, you know, good money to run, you know, keep the station going. And they're Hugo's. It wasn't the station that I was worried about. It was Hugo's that I was worried about because they saw one of my videos talking about that. And they were worried that uh, that they they didn't think it'd be good business. So technically, what you can say is Hugo's cost me a job, is what happened, you know, based on me talking bad about them in one of my videos or whatever. So after they fired me or whatever, after they let me go, and so as their as their big fuck you to me, they uh, you know they let me go. They decided not to hire me at the radio station because they were afraid it was bad business. I normally, you know, wouldn't talk about that anymore because it's, it's so long ago, but that's the reason why I'm not working at KKDQ right now, and, and that's the reason why I decided I'm not going to work there. I decided, you know, they screwed me over once, what if they screw me over again? 
So I decided, you know what, I'm not ever going to work for those people. You know, in fact, the next time, I, I've kind of decided that the next time I decide to get on my own again, you know, depending on if I get the job at the at Rosa or wherever, that any place that I live next time, it's going to be in a bigger city. I don't think I'm going to live in Thief River anymore, unless I can, unless I know I can get a job in there uh, with the help from Volk Rehab or whatever, but they haven't gotten back to me either yet, so we don't know. Anyway, so I'm hoping good things for the, for uh, working at the Rozo uh, American. It's a nice place, a nice fancy hotel with swimming pool and everything. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'd be a night clerk or if I'd be uh, uh, I don't know what I'd be. If I'd be a night clerk or if I'd be a, a housekeeper or whatever. But it sounds like a fun job and it would be kind of nice because, you know, then I'm working at my own pace and, you know, I'd rather do a job where I don't have to deal with a whole bunch of, a bunch of people all the time, you know. That would be the, the Bob Diggity. So hopefully, I don't think the guy that uh, uh, I'm going to be having an interview with uh, watches my videos. So I don't, you know, we're not even friends on Facebook yet. So I don't think I have anything to worry about. And, uh, you know, I'm a good worker. I mean, you know, I'm just getting sick and tired of getting screwed over. You know, where a person says they're, they're hiring and looking. That's one of the problems that has been for me this whole summer. I've had many opportunities to, to work for other people and whatnot who have told me, who guaranteed me that they need somebody. But then when I call them back the next day or whatever, uh, they say that, uh, oh, we decided to go with somebody else or whatever. Or, or we decided we don't need anybody after all. So, but this guy uh, who was in charge of the American had, didn't say that to me. He, he seemed like a pretty decent guy, and he seemed like somebody who I would definitely love to call my boss, even though I don't even know him, but I, I, I think he would be a, a decent person, you know. He, and it's a nice fancy place where you can dress up and stuff. And I got a lot of nice clothes that I haven't wore because I haven't had no purpose to wear them. But I would if I got the job. I would prove to these people that I can do it. You know, whatever thing you want me to do. I don't need full time. I'll work part time. You know, it's not a big deal. But anyway, so that's one of the reasons why it's been tough for me to find work. Because I've been getting screwed over a lot by, by little companies. Even, though, even the little video store that I was going to work at. They don't pay you much. They pay you like six something an hour, but yet they didn't have the balls to come and call me up. They they this automatically assumed I didn't I wasn't qualified or whatever, you know. But they they pick somebody else who you know who they assume would be qualified, and they can't even get a hold of that person. Yeah, it, it's it's messed up, and I don't mean to to get you know to mention about that here on YouTube and keep it too personal because I said <coughs> I said the past was going to be the past, but. I'm still looking for work. Even though I'm doing these daily vlogs, doesn't mean I'm back on the wagon again or back, you know, making money again. I'm making a little bit of money on, on from the AdSense, but I won't see any of that probably until the end of October or September or October, my first hundred dollars. So, uh, because that's pretty much what is that, right? <laughs> and it's all because people are clicking on those ads. So, the more you click on the ads, the more that's how you gain revenue. Hence, ad revenue, I guess. I found that, that out. It doesn't matter how many views. I mean, if I was getting 1,000 views per day or whatever, yeah, I'd have a big impact on that too. But because of whatever advertisement I have, some people would tell me I should just block the ads. But if I do that, I won't make no money. You make more money when people click on ads by your thing than you would, you know, uh, by just how many views you get. That's a little word of advice for some of you guys who have been wondering about AdSense. It's all based on more or less, not just how many views you get or how popular you are, but how many times do people click on the ads. You don't necessarily have to buy anything from, from the ads, but what, what you have to do is you click. You can click as many times as you want, and that's based on how many people will uh, will go for with you. If you're a partner, you, you'll probably see a little bit more, but even with the partner thing, see, I'm not a partner. I'm just somebody who uh, got to, uh, they, they said, well, you, you've got enough videos now where we know that you're 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 you know trying to do, you know daily videos and whatnot, and so let you know if you want to make money, all you gotta do is sign up, and I did, so it's like it's like even though I'm not a partner, but now I can make a little money, so that's good enough for me, you know, so anyway, <coughs> <coughs> oh, but anyway, so I just figured I'd let you guys know that. Sorry for the the last couple of days the videos have been kind of short. I haven't really. I've been kind of busy myself too, just trying to find work and everything, and just, you know, and, and whatever I can do. So that's pretty much about it. Tomorrow is my sister's birthday. I don't know for sure what she's going to do, but uh, we will have a video up regardless. So 
We'll see what goes down, but it, it's going to be a pretty good weekend. It's SummerSlam weekend, by the way, for AU uh, WWE fans out there. Uh, a lot of good matches going to be happening. Uh, who do you think is going to win the the who's who do you think is going to be the the undisputed WWE champion? Do you think it'll be CM Punk or do you think it's John Cena? I think it'd be CM Punk because CM Punk to me, I think anybody can out wrestle John Cena. John Cena is a horrible wrestler, who who is getting the royal treatment when he can't even wrestle that good. CM Punk should be the one. The, he should be the man, if you ask me. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below, and let me know about your thoughts about John Anderson and John Mayall and and anybody else that you want to talk about. Uh, yeah. So Frank Slauson, we'll see you guys a little later. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another great Frank Slauson Show daily vlog.